Hey, what's up everyone? John here with Web Dev for You, here to help you build awesome websites without code in Webflow. Today I'm gonna introduce the free Brandon Walker portfolio template. Uh, so I just made it available to be clonable, so you can clone it right into your Webflow dashboard. And this makes a, a really nice template uh, if you have specific projects that you want to showcase. So here if I refresh, we see we have this nice animation, we have some text, and we have the different projects here where you can link out to like a dribble page or any page where your project is located. Uh, so it's just a nice slick template to showcase your work. We have this navigation here on the right and looks good. So with this template, there's also documentation on how to replace this uh, header image and how to add new projects. So I'm not gonna go over that too much in this video. There's also another in-depth video uh, here that goes over the template in, in much more detail, and I'll leave a link to this video in the description area below. Uh, but just wanted to let you know that it is now free. You can clone it and uh, all that good stuff. The template is fully uh, responsive. So if I bring this over here, uh, we can see the template on different devices. If we go to the iPad, we can see the template for iPad fully responsive and some nice animation. Let's go to the iPhone 14. Looks good. And yeah, if you're new to Webflow and you just need a quick template like this to get started that's fully responsive and all that good stuff, this is a great template uh, for that. Okay, this is the uh, Pixel 5. And looks good. All right, so that is the, the template. And here in Webflow, um, I'll just go over it really quick. If you wanna replace the, the header image, so what you wanna do is go to the About image here. So it's under the Hero section, and then just replace this image here. Click Choose Image, and you can replace this image. Uh, if you wanna add a new project, just go down to Project Wrapper, hit Command-C to copy, and then Command-V to paste. And then for the project image, you just want to remove uh, this combo class. You know, right now it's six. Remove it and then set, say seven. So if you're adding a new project, you want to change the project image combo class, and this will allow you to add a unique image for that project. All right. So now we have seven projects, and looks good. So I'm just going to undo this. Okay. And here for the link, you can select it and then link out to a, a URL, page, page section, email, phone number, or attachment. And this is for every project here. Uh, so initially, you can't see the image because there's an image overlay, but you can just select project image within the project wrapper and then change the image under uh, backgrounds. Okay. And I think that's pretty much it. Uh, there is a style guide. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, that's all I want to go over here. Yeah, all the text is replaceable. You can just double click to replace all the text. And you can go to the, the different layouts here in Webflow to see the responsiveness of the template across the different layouts. Um, there's a style guide, image license. These Most of these images are from Unsplash and Pexels. And the, uh, the icons are from Font Awesome. Uh, there's a style guide here in case you want to add a blog. Here's how all the headings are styled. The global um, tags are styled specifically. So if you add a, well here, uh, here they're not, but we have the different uh, heading classes here and the different paragraphs that we're using for uh, the different text on the site. There's also these colors. So they're global swatches. So if you change one global swatch, it'll change for all of the other one. So here, if I change this one, I go to edit and I'm just going to copy this color here and I change it to like pink and click save. Now, if I go back to the home page, we can see that this is now that pink color. Um, so I'm just going to go back to the style guide and uh, edit that color again to that original color. All right, and click Save. 
and there we go it has that yellow color again and yeah so all the colors can be uh, customized via the global swatches uh, here in the color palette um, yeah the colors uh, panel here um, but yeah that's pretty much it again if you want more detail on every little aspect of the template uh, feel free to check out this video here uh, customizing you know I go over customizing the template and all the other details of it so to clone the template uh, you can just go to my profile page I'll leave a link to clone it and then just click on clone in Webflow and it'll copy the project into your dashboard all right so just wanted to let everyone know that it is now free I'm going to be making most of my templates free from now on and I am working on new templates uh, so just giving away all these templates for free um, just to help you build in Webflow. And uh, if you are new to Webflow, feel free to click on the links below um, to create an account. And uh, you know, if you want to add a custom domain, you can purchase a site plan. Or if you want to have multiple projects in your dashboard, you can purchase an account plan with Webflow as well. Uh, but yeah, that is the Brandon Walker portfolio template. And uh, yeah, let me know if you have any questions about how to use it in the comment section below, and I'll be happy to help. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you. Bye.